Hello and welcome to CrimoCon. In this talk, we're discussing tools and techniques available to locate passwords and keys in public repos such as GitHub and how InfoSec professionals can utilize these tools to prevent public disclosures of sensitive information. My name is Brian Hosteller. You can follow me on Twitter at HosstellerBrian3. I have a mixed background in network sysadmin and InfoSec. Currently working with a legendary and talented counter-hack team under the Air Force Education with an Industry Program. I have a passion for lifelong learning and educating our community about the latest InfoSec tools and techniques. As a disclaimer, the content of this presentation is neither endorsed nor an official position of the Air Force or Department of Defense. Quick overview of what we'll be covering in this presentation. We're going to go over some very recent examples of private data inadvertently disclosed and exploited in the public cloud. We will cover why these tools and techniques are important to red and blue teams to locate and identify leaked data. Then we will provide a quick overview of the requirements to install a popular repository digging tool. Finally, we walk you through the installation process and demonstrate the capability on a sample cloud repository to show how easy it is to locate leaked information. Can't steal a private key if it's already been made public. So these are some of the many high profile examples of inadvertent key disclosure discovery and costs associated with poor hygiene before developers commit to cloud repos. In September 2017, cybersecurity company UpGuard discovered over 100 gigs of classified data that belonged to the Pentagon mistakenly left exposed on an unsecured Amazon Web Services public cloud server. It is likely to have been accessible to anyone in the cloud for years. That same year, drone maker DJI left his private SSL firmware keys open to the world on Git in addition to AWS credentials. Moreover, S3 silos filled with sensitive customer data were also leaked. Uber posted URLs to repos that contain a security key, which allowed unauthorized access to the names and driver's license numbers of about 50,000 of their drivers. DXC, one of the largest IT consulting firms in the world, inadvertently uploaded its private keys to an unsecured Git repo. The private keys were used to launch 244 AWS virtual machines over the course of four days, prompting them to have to pay around 64,000 to rectify the issue. So as you can see, no company organization is immune to these mistakes, and they're likely to be more in the future as more and more organizations move their development to the cloud. There are a multitude of open source tools available to search repos for passwords or private keys inadvertently committed. Repo Security Scanner is a command line interface tool that finds secrets accidentally committed to Git repo, passwords, and private keys. Git Leaks is another popular tool to audit Git repos for secrets before you push them to the cloud. For this talk, we'll be focusing on TruffleHog, an effective tool that digs deep into commit history and branches to find secrets accidentally committed. More importantly, developers can run this tool on local files to ensure that there are no secrets before push, pushing to public repos. If these tools don't meet your requirements, you can always cook your own. Just make sure you share it out with the InfoSec community. So what exactly is TruffleHog? It's named after domestic pigs with keen sense of smell. Truffle hogs are utilized for locating prized truffle mushrooms buried deep underground. Truffle hog is a Python script that can be found on GitHub, written by Dylan Airy and InfoSec community contributors that looks for a different prize. Leap passwords and keys. To get started with installing Truffle Hog, there are a few basic requirements. You will need to know basic commands in your chosen operating system to navigate throughout file systems. You will need Git installed in your local operating environment along with basic Git commands. So installing Git is pretty straightforward. You just head to the site. <coughs> Uh, run a few commands on Linux. Uh, same thing with Mac. Uh, for Windows, you just download the executable and install it. Now, if you and your team are, are completely new to Git, to GitHub, don't know where to start, I uh, highly recommend that you check out uh, Charmer Lowe's Intro to Sprinting Workshop. It's a workshop designed for beginners to help them learn the basic schools, skills necessary to contribute to open source projects. Covers everything you need to know um, from you know, cloning repositories to running commands uh, to navigating uh, repos. You're also going to need Python. Uh, latest version is 3. Uh, go ahead and, and download it if you don't already have it. Uh, for Windows, there's an executable we can run. Uh, Linux, Mac already has installed. Just make sure you're on the latest version. We're going to then need to 
clone the repository, your local machine, and then run a, a pip install to install the Python script. Now I'm going to walk you through the installation process and provide a demonstration of the truffle hog in action against the sample repository. So the first thing we're going to need to do is open up a, a terminal. And we'll go ahead and open up the truffle hog readme file as well. So we can have that up uh, as a guide. So the first thing we're going to need to do is, is git clone and the truffle hog URL. So as you can see, I already have it installed locally on my machine. Um, after that, you're going to have to change directory in the truffle hog. And it creates two folders to so go ahead and do that twice. And make sure you uh, run a pip install. After that, as you can see, you already have requirements satisfied. And then we're going to run the command against their sample repository, uh, which is up here. Uh, to do that, we're going to go ahead and call Python version 3, uh, truffle hog. Yep, truffle which is their Python script. And then we can just go ahead and grab this and then paste it on the tail end as an example repo to run against. And what this does is it comes through the entire repository and looks for any passwords or or keys that are out there. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit in their sample repo. Now developers can also run a, a command against their local repository before pushing out to the cloud, and that's just running that python.py script against their local repository and ensuring that there's no passwords or keys before committing to a public repo to prevent any leaks like this. So that completes our presentation. To review, we have learned about common commit mistakes developers make and justification utilized tools such as truffle hog to run checks before pushing updates to the cloud. Next, we review popular tools available to Red and Blue teams to utilize for testing purposes. Finally, we have illustrated the pressing need for Red and Blue teams to, to evolve and contribute to projects such as these to improve cloud security practices. For more tips on removing sensitive data from <coughs> public repos, head to GitHub help. Thanks for watching.